there, Leo. Sincerely apologize for getting this out so late, but I love you all bunches. For those of you who are new to me, my name is Kelly Lanton. I'm an intuitive channel with a team of 7 to 20 spirit guides around me at any given time. And I'm coming here to bring you... Oh, interesting. I'm coming here to bring you your November 2017 Combo Tarot Horoscope Channeling Spread so that you have what you need to know for the month to manifest what you want with ease, joy, and bliss. Um, and I do have, guys, I am announcing, um, I have two spots open starting January. We can maybe start in December. Uh, but starting January, I got two spots open for two people who want longer term spiritual coaching packages. So if there's a big goal that you want, I tend to help a lot of business owners get their businesses up and running. So the fact that they get up to get in their first five clients, if you have no business or people who already have businesses, I tend to 3x their revenue. One of my clients just went from 11,000 in her first month, a year of no sales, two months with me, she made 20,000. Um, another client, after six weeks in a group program, she went from zero sales to her first 5,000. Um, I'm also helping people get their dating lives going. After one client, after three years of no dates, she's had three after a month and a half of working with me. So if you guys are looking to get your dating life popping or increase the revenue in your business, go ahead and apply. I'll put a link down below and up in the right-hand corner. Okay, so for you guys, Leo. Okay, little Leo's. My little fire signs. So it looks like, let's do it this way. This is for the general theme for you guys this month. You're definitely going through like new growth and new growth, new awareness in the, in the personal, not so much the emotional, more of like personal and spiritual growth. It's kind of like you're gaining an ability to get new insights and new awakenings into how others are feeling. So you're definitely awakening your like empathic ability, your intuitive abilities, and a little bit of your connection to your spirit animals. But it's kind of like because of that, because of your new ability that you're, you're finding, it's like you want to take action right away with another person in your life. <laughs> but from that, you got the big, oh, caution is warranted. So your theme for this month, is just enjoy the journey of the new awakening, awakening emotional and spiritual and intuitive gifts that are awakening within you. There's no need to rush to action for uh, a certain honey bunny in your life. So it's more about just be aware that this is more a month of continuing to awakening your spiritual gifts. Because um, I, I know what they're talking about, guys, because I know sometimes, because I'm, I'm like intuitive too and an impasse. So sometimes when you feel people's emotions, you're like, oh, he likes me, right? And then you like rush into action. But sometimes the other person isn't as in touch with their own emotions. So even though you feel what they're feeling, you know you feel the same way. If you rush into action, you're not going to get the result that you want. So it's kind of like a, just this is more about, this is the rest of the last 10 days is more about a month of you awakening to your spiritual gifts versus taking action with it. Okay, so in terms of the tarot spreads now for the basis of your month, you have... The King of Earth Reverse, that's the King of Pentacles for you traditional tarot readers out there, and the Two of Fire Upright. Okay, so this is letting you know, like, this month is kind of about, don't spend your money, Leos, no sense in, um, just, just be careful with your money, Leos, it's kind of more about, although you're used to, like, you're very used to doing things with a lot of passion, a lot of, like, here's the plan and just going for it. It's kind of like know that the confidence is there. Know that know that you have everything you need to to do it. It's just don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get for it to be paired with the two of fire. So the king of earth is very uh, wise, money wise, wise business wise, very confident. It's a king. Two of fire. Fire is like it's something that you're very passionate about that you want to work on. Two is the very beginning of a journey. Okay, this is kind of like a Lord of the Rings analogy here for my fellow nerds and geeks out there. Um, it's like Frodo and Bilbo Baggins. They just decided, all right, we're going to go on this epic journey. They just put their backpacks on and they're, they're having that moment, you know, where they're like, oh, we're just crossing out of the Shire. That's where you're at. You're starting your journey and you're like, excitement. Don't act like the king. They didn't go in. Oh, we're leaving the Shire. Well, shit, let's get transported to the, that fire pit. I'm forgetting the name of it right now. You're trying to like rush it a little bit. All right, Leo, so take a chill pill. Oh yeah, check it out. Cause your challenge for the remainder of this month is the night of air. So the night of air, night is very like action oriented. Night is very, 
it's just very action oriented, but it's all about like logical minds. So it's kind of like you have success ahead of you because you got the king of earth there, but it, it's it's not time to necessarily take action on it. It's recognizing that you're at the beginning of the journey. And if you like when you take action, like make sure oh it's the king of air. Okay, spirit, what do you want them to know? Oh, they're saying even more so. This your challenge for the month is to take action only when it logically makes sense this month. Um, so couple that with your with your theme. You're on a spiritual journey, so don't rush to action just because like you're picking up on someone's emotions, okay? It's about you could put fillers out. It's it's really more of a month of fillers for you guys. You have the confident. Don't fucking rush the journey. No rush in the journey, Leos. You're Leos. You come in strong. You're full of fire. You're full of passion. Don't rush the journey. If this is, I don't think this is a love spread for you because you got all earth and fire. So this is really more about a month. It has something to do with your career. Something to do with how you make money. And it's something that you definitely feel very passionate about. Um. Yeah, you got a lot of reversed fire suits which means don't take action yet. Um, okay, does that make sense? Let me let me sum it up really quick for you guys. Okay. You have the confidence. You're on the right path. You're on the journey. Don't rush to action. Everything, your, your challenge is to not rush to action. To get the king of air crossing these two, your challenge is don't rush to action. Don't rush to action, Leos. I'm going to say it again. Don't rush to action. Okay, because in terms of what was coming up, for you in the recent path. Yeah, you got the queen of fire. So it's kind of like you did really, you hit you hit some sort of moment of, of this feels good, this feels right, this feels like my right path, this is, this is my next step. I mean, you really came into, it's like you came into your own and, and you just had this inspired idea and you wanted to take action. But what we most want you to hear, Leos, is that sometimes when you get a divine download, an inspired action, a message from your angels, your spirit guide speaking to you, whatever you want to, however you want to word it, Sometimes it's about like a, they give you the idea to let it incubate a while so that your vibrations, law of attraction, so that your vibrations can get used to it. You know, and we'll give you an example. So Kelly, Kelly some years ago, she wanted a lot of travel. So she just kind of, I'm ready to travel universe, blah, 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 blah. Her step one law of attraction ask, right? From there, we started putting in her, her, in her mind, like, Get your house ready or get your apartment ready to move. You're like, you're going to be moving. Get it ready to move. So she went, she jumped straight into action. She jumped straight into action, began looking for other apartments. When her real step was just to get her place ready. So she experienced disappointment when she didn't find an apartment that she could afford. She didn't find an apartment that was better than hers. But it's because you were trying to rush into action. It's more about, it took, it was about three months where she just kind of slowly went through every weekend and cleaned a little bit. So it never felt like work. It never felt like a lot of exhaustion. She never felt exhausted. She just, you know, one, two, three hours every weekend would clean stuff out, purge, donate, whatever, yada, yada. Um, and at the end of three months, she got this beautiful work remotely position. So she had everything ready. She just had to sign and then she was able to take off and, and go travel. So we want you to hear that. Sometimes you'll get an idea. And it's more about law of attraction. Be Go general on it. Oh, this feels good. This is what I like about it. I like this. I like that. And then over time, you ramp up the momentum on it. And then you can start being more specific. Oh, and I'm going to travel here and this state. And I'm definitely going to go to this state park. You're in the general phase right now. So slow down, Leos. In terms of what you're going through right now, look at that. You got the moon card upright, guys. This is the card all about like psychic development. You're growing spiritually. But it's also like a little bit of card, card of confusion because it's kind of it's kind of like a quantum leap card, guys. It's let's see what they have to say. It, it's time like you're going through a spiritual growth phase right now, spiritual quantum leap. So from that though, like how we advise it, it's kind of like growth plateau, growth plateau. It's you're still on the growth part of it when you plateau. A lot of times um, people will think that, oh, no, I'm not growing anymore. I'm doing something wrong. But we want to invite your eyes to open the fact that it's, you're on a growth phase. So keep enjoying the growth. There's no time to take action yet. When you're on a plateau phase, it's really more about your ego mind, your human level side of you, because you're a spiritual being and a human being. It's the human side of you catching up to the changes. And we'll use one example. Kelly read one time that there was something about, um, it's like psychology. When people change, sometimes they don't recognize the change within them. When people lose weight, she distinctly remembers an article about sometimes 
Sometimes people will lose drastic amount of weights and they're now fit, active, yada, yada. Sometimes their brain, it could take up to like two years to recognize themselves as the new person. They'll still look in the mirror even though they're only like 110. They run three miles every day. They're fit, they're strong. They'll still see the fat person in the mirror. Um, hey, and I love you bunches, guys. I used to be overweight too. So I'm just very crashed in my words. Um, so we want you to be aware that it's more about the spiritual phase and then you're going to have to go through a period of recognizing the growth within you. Because in terms of what's coming um, ahead for you for the remainder of the month, you got the Ten of Water reversed. Okay. Yeah, it's just... We just want to tell you one last time, Lise, it's really a time of not forcing the personal issue, not trying to rush the relationship, not trying to, like, yes, you're picking up that there's huge opportunity there, but it is not the time to take action. It's a time for you to step into the new you. Because when, sometimes when you rush, the other, like, two, the two people have to be in, in vibrational match. And so you've picked up that there, there's a vibrational match, but they're like either still down here or maybe they're up here. It's more than likely for most of you it's this way because you're going through the growth right now. If you if you like, hey, let's go on a date. Hey, let's hang out. Hey, let's do a business contract together. And you're not a match. Do you see this? This is where you get the mixed missed calls, the emails that didn't go through, the, oh, shoot, I'm so busy, or the, okay, we'll get it scheduled, and then a no-show. Whereas if you just wait for your growth, be like, ooh, I love... I love knowing that I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to this person. I love knowing that I'm gonna hit this level of growth. I love knowing that this is going to happen. It will raise your vibrations to it so that when you reach out, it's gonna be like, oh my god, it's so synchronistic. It's so like I knew this was gonna happen. So which one do you want? Do you want the mist? Do you want the effort? Do you want the effort? Do you want the disappointment? Or do you just want to give it time to incubate a little? And then the my spirit guides told me to do this. Leos, they are hammering home. Don't take action. Guys, if you need help with this, this is exact. I can help you through this, guys. Apply. Um, okay, because in terms of your personal power, your personal power this month, Leo, is the ton of earth. Be content, mother effers. Be content. <laughs> Be content with where you're at. Open your eyes and start. Because the, the little bit of a, what you want, the little bit of vibrational match, the little bit of growth you have to go through to be a match for what you want. It's really more about the more that you can be content with what you want in the moment. Or, excuse us. The more that you can be content with what you have right now by going general. I love the couch I'm on. I like the plant behind me. Um, I like the sun coming in. Um, I, li I like the place that I'm at. I Go general. Everything that you like about your current situation will help raise your vibrations so that you can get what you can get your ultimate manifestation quicker. Um, be content, Leos. You're fine where you're at. You're watching a freaking YouTube video. You have internet. You probably have a house or an apartment. You have running water. Get in the vibration, makes sense? Get in the vibration of appreciation for all my Law of Attraction followers out there. You know that emotional guidance list, 1 through 22. The more that you can get into the in the vibration of number 1, 2, 1, 2, or 3, we would love for you to get in the vibration of 1, but 1, 2, or 3. On general things in your life, like, I appreciate that this couch is comfortable. I appreciate that... I have a blanket right next to me. I appreciate that I have an extra pillow behind me. If you can start appreciating the, appreciating the small things, that's when the bigger things can come through. The $20,000 client or the hot honey bunny that you want to start dating or like the marriage proposal or a new client. When you're in the vibration in general of love, but the top one is like love, appreciation, knowledge, joy. When you could do that for general things, the bigger manifestations are going to come quicker because you're already in the vibration of it. So slow your horses, Leos. It's coming, okay? In turn, so, oh, outside influences. Yeah, look at this outside. In, they are just repeating the same message to you guys, Leo. Outside influences. Either other people or just, you know, universal energies. Page of Earth reversed. The pages, it's very... Um, it's, it's delayed communication. It's delayed communication about either your project or your date or whatever it is you want. The other person isn't ready yet. No sense in forcing it. You want to add anything, guys? No. <laughs> the other person isn't ready yet. The project isn't ready yet. Your family, whatever whatever your situation, comment below. What the hell's going on, Leo? I'm, what are you trying to rush, Leo? Let me know. Um, they're not ready yet, so... 
Do you want to keep trying and running into a brick wall? Or do you just want to sit back and be content with where you're at, knowing that it's going to happen? It's just a matter of when. Um, in terms of your hopes or fears for the month. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Leo's. Okay, I'm giving you some love. You got the eight of fire reverse. So that's, um, it's like you're afraid that if you don't take action, you're going to miss out. Leo's, I know. Oh, I love you, Leo's. I know what you're going through. Guys, if you want help on your spiritual growth, I can connect you to your spirit guides. I can amplify your connection. I can amplify your intuition and you, like two months and your 10 X, your spiritual growth. Um, and we can get into vibration of joy for my law of attraction followers out there so that, you know, the journey of getting ready to be getting ready to be getting ready so that when you get there, it's an instant manifestation, huge quantum leap. If you're ready for that, apply. I have two spots open. Um, you're just afraid of missing out, Leos. But you hear you're afraid, you're in fear, you're in the fear vibration. Fear is like number 22. You're only manifesting when you're at number seven and up, not number 22. So let go of that fear, Leos. I don't it's a YouTube video. I don't know how to help you any more than that. Let go of the fear and just get content with where you're at. Oh, George is saying, go back and listen to some of the advice about, I like this couch. I like everything. Like notice 10 things you like around you. And then what are like, you know, two to three things you like about that. So if you're going to say, I like the couch. What do you like about it in specific? Well, I like that it's comfy. I like that it's like bouncy. Um, I like the color that gets you into the vibration of joy and all that stuff. So write your list below guys, if you want some accountability. Yeah. In terms of your outcome for the month, look at that ace of fire. Okay. So it's like you guys feel the big journey coming ahead. You feel your transformation and you're like, I just want to start it now. It's kind of like, you know, when you graduate high school and you're about ready to go into college, <coughs> excuse me, and you're ready to go into college and you're like two months away from college. It's like, you're trying to rush pack in. You're trying to, well, let's do this. Let's do that. It's like, you can't do anything. College doesn't start for two months, homie, two months. Give your chill enjoy your last summer before you go to college once you guys once you go to college bills start racking up parents don't help pay those bills as much anymore <laughs> then adult reality hits just enjoy those last two months guys <laughs> um okay so ace of fire you know that there's something good coming you feel it don't rush the journey because it's reverse reverse means it's not happening yet this is really like leo's this is really more of a time of you becoming content with everything that you're at be happy where you're at law of attraction the more that you are in full self-acceptance and w with where you're at right now the more that you're going to get that next step and that next step and that next step and that next step the more that you try to go from here to here it's going to get in the vibration of disappointment so instead of getting the next step, the next step, and the next step, what you're going to get is, I want to go here, disappointment. Back here. I want to go here, disappointment. You're going to be in this cycle of trying to rush it, disappointment, versus, I like where I'm at. All right, what do I need to do next? So y'all, going to just take the net. Oh, the light. Sorry, guys. Um, all right, Leos, that's all for you. Don't try to rush the journey. Ooh, the light's horrible. Sorry. Don't try to rush the journey. Enjoy your app. Be content. If y'all want some help with your spiritual growth, apply. Much love. Mwah. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what's going on.